Aloha. Welcome everybody to Lillian's Vegan World coming to you live from gorgeous downtown Honolulu. Welcome to the show. This is where we talk about the plant-based diet and anything vegan. Today I'm actually having my first guest from my beloved Japan from a city north of Japan called Sendai. My guest today is uh, my dear friend Lena Takahashi. Hi Lena, welcome to the show. Hi Lillian, thank you for having me. My pleasure. It's a very exciting for me to have someone from gorgeous Sendai, um, a place where I lived for 30 years. And you have been there for how long, Lena? Uh, 17 years. Wow. Isn't that strange that I only met you like literally a week before I was leaving Sendai to come and move to Hawaii? <laughs> Having been in the same city and just not ever crossing paths, so very interesting. I know, I, I was thinking about the same, but I'm glad that I could catch you before you left. So. Yes, me too. Yeah. Lena, mm -hmm. so happy to have you on the show. Um, I'm, I'm very excited to tell people about what you do. You are uh, living in Sendai and you are actually a Lakey master and co-founder of mm -hmm. Healing Land Lakey. Uh, Reiki, yes. Reiki, mm -hmm. okay. So mm -hmm. the, you were co-founding this with your husband? Or? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So yes. a lot mm -hmm. of people, including myself, don't know much about Reiki. Mm -hmm. So I would love mm -hmm. for you, first of all, to introduce yourself and then we'll talk a little mm -hmm. bit about basically mm -hmm. what Reiki is. So tell us about mm -hmm. yourself, Lena. Okay. Yeah, I originally... Uh, born in Ukraine and I live in Japan pretty much half of my life so I'm not native speaker so pardon in case I make some small mistakes um, uh, so I speak Russian Ukrainian Japanese English um, and um, uh, four years ago I came into Reiki and that's what I do for now really happy to share Reiki with the world awesome so people are probably wondering why you are on my show when I just mentioned my show is about the plant-based diet and uh, veganism. Mm -hmm. But basically, I think when you start taking charge of your health and in particular when you go on a plant-based diet, which is what I promote and which is what I, I think is one of the healthiest diets out there, you start kind of wanting or searching for other things that can help with your your well-being, mm -hmm. your overall health and well-being. So this is why I've asked you to come on the show to share with us um, the secrets mm -hmm. to Reiki, which seems to be really um, helping people with their, their overall you know, health and well-being. So either way, you only speak mm -hmm. four yes. languages? <laughs> so far, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And uh, for anyone who wants to know, Lena is very fluent in Japanese, so you also conduct your Reiki classes in Japanese and English. Yes, I okay, guess we'll get exactly. into that more mm -hmm. later on. Mm -hmm. Lena, Thank tell you. us about Reiki, what it is, and how okay. it works for people. Mm -hmm. Okay, Reiki is a Japanese method uh, for stress reduction that promotes healing on all levels. So basically, it's a good for heart, body, and mind. And it's a great life management tool that can be applied for any life situation. That's how short I can put it. No, that's fantastic. That's very, um, yeah. In a nutshell, you just pretty much <laughs> explained it very, yeah. very clearly. I found uh, when I was uh, looking into Reiki mm -hmm. to prep for this show with you, I did come across a few things I would like to mention, if you don't mind. First of all, yes. where the word Reiki comes from, the Japanese or Chinese characters, Rei, which means God's wisdom or the higher power, and Ki, which a lot of people are familiar with, Ki is the life force energy. Mm -hmm. So it yes. makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, according to Wikipedia, I'm going to quote uh, Wikipedia, mm -hmm. they say that Reiki is a form of alternative medicine called energy mm -hmm. healing. Reiki yes. practitioners use a technique called palm healing or hands-on mm -hmm. healing through which a universal mm -hmm. energy is said to be transferred through the palms of the practitioner to the patient in order to encourage emotional or physical healing. 
-hmm. Yes, exactly. It's very interesting. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Let me put some disclaimer to it that, um, you know, whatever we will be talking uh, now on, uh, it's not, uh, you know, we're not trying to substitute medical treatments. Um, everything is going, uh, you know, in support for whatever treatments or therapy person having. So it's, you know, great tool to combine with any anything you do to enhance your benefits with the main treatments or medical treatments. So yeah, that's what I wanted to add. Well, awesome. Thank you, Lena, for adding that. That's mm -hmm. uh, very mm -hmm. important to know. And mm -hmm. yes. uh, how did you come across Reiki and how long have you been practicing mm -hmm. Reiki and when mm -hmm. did you become a Reiki master? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I uh, like, you know, during we are now going through the major shift, like energetic shift in the world. And uh, I think it hit me like five or six years ago. And I started to think that maybe there is something I need to change within myself. And um, due to some things that I needed to change in myself, first was diet. I started to actually go into vegan diet and uh, learning about what is you know, how to eat vegan and um, all kind of things. And maybe like a couple years afterwards, that's uh, when I went to India. And after my trip, I came back really like not feeling myself. And um, when I would go to the hospital, they would say, well, there's nothing wrong with you. But I really feel like I'm like covered with something and I'm not present here. I'm not, I don't know where I was. So, and my friend um, recommended me to have a, like Reiki session and I made appointment and lady ca came and had one hour session with me. And I was just amazed the way, you know, it worked for me. It's kind of brought me back. It's, I started to feel a lot of like ideas and a lot of guidance of what I would want to do in the future and you know it's kind of like had everything like for me uh just like right after one session and then i started to have um every month or once or twice uh, reiki just treatments for myself and uh, what uh, i started to learn about reiki is that there's you don't need to have a special ability to do reiki for others so that's how i I was like, oh, really? So I just need to join the class and have my training and um, I can do the same. So, and that's how I got into Reiki. Awesome. Um, once you find mm -hmm. your passion in life, you have nowhere to go yeah. but forward with it and to share it. Yeah. So what you're yeah. doing is amazing and I wish you all the luck there um, on your new journey. You, Thank a, you. you actually worked for a Japanese company, which I'm not going to get into, but mm -hmm. um, so you made a huge change uh, in your yes. life recently. Mm -hmm. And as we just spoke of, you you are now a Reiki master there in Sendai, Japan. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Lena, mm -hmm. we're going to take a look at some of the photos that you have mm -hmm. prepared for us and, and go through okay. a little bit of uh, your journey here. So mm -hmm. it all started off with the first photo. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you look gorgeous in the in the kimono yeah was this uh, how many years ago was this taken yeah you can see it's 2004 it's something like 16 years ago okay i was going to japanese wedding um so just yeah. as a, a attendant yeah uh -huh. how awesome yes yes because you did mention that you are originally from the ukraine so yes you've yeah you've gone very far away from your roots <laughs> and have found yes. a beautiful life in Japan. I, I know um, how wonderful it is to live in Japan and the 30 years I, mm -hmm. I was there really um, just unforgettable and very grateful yeah. to have spent that time there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. have a look at the next one, Lena. Okay. Now mm -hmm. this I'm guessing, well, it's obvious <laughs> that this is one of the, this is the technique that you use, the uh, Mm -hmm. um, healing or hands-on healing yes yes um, this is just to show people briefly like how it can be done 
you know, usually you would be just laying on the table and just relaxing and Reiki practitioner would place their hands or however, you know, however you're comfortable and um, it promotes whatever you need for that moment. Um, so you can also be sitting like this and just have a um, quick Reiki, uh, like to recharge you. We usually do it often to, you know, when you're just busy during the day or you just suddenly, you're just stressing out and just like, okay, for five minutes, let me just um, pause. And um, you can do it for yourself once you've gone through uh, some basic classes or you can have, you know, somebody do it for you. Okay. So that's why I put this picture. Yeah, no, that, that's interesting. That actually was one of my questions, whether you can actually do Lakey alone. Yes, yes. Yeah, one of uh, the things that I also like was drawn to it because um, like usually you have to have somebody to have like any like therapy or something. But uh, with Reiki, you also can have your like self-healing. You can just like place your hands, whatever you feel tension or pain, and then Reiki start to flow and will make you relax or whatever you need at that moment. So that's a great to have, not just for others, is like really like mainly is for you first. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Awesome. Let's take a look at the next photo. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are okay. very important people in the Lakey world. The yes. World. Yes. Uh, so uh, to answer your question, how long I've been Reiki master is um, like I first uh, trained with my uh, yoga teacher who is like half Japanese, half Hawaiian. Um, he was in Tokyo. So I, I started my training with him. And then um, as I was going through my training, I met these two wonderful people. Um, this is William Rand and uh, Colleen Benelli. And they were um, uh, going to Kyoto, uh, Mount Krama. Mount Krama is the birthplace of Reiki. And they were just going to uh, to make some like videos or just to visit place. And uh, that was the time when I met them. And um, they got idea that, hey, why don't we have, um, you know, Reiki class on Mount Krama? So um, I were asked to help to organize the class. And uh, uh, yeah, the picture underneath is the uh, the ryokan, like some Japanese um, style in okay. um, that we we have our training and it's uh, on the mountains. So yeah, I got my like level up training with uh, William Rand and Colleen Benelli. Okay. So I had um, so far like few teachers and continuously like expanding my knowledge about Reiki. That's excellent. And I'm looking at this next photo here with um, a little four-legged friend. <laughs> this is your yes. gorgeous cat. How adorable. Um, she's yes. helping promote your Lakey classes in Japan with Hiri yes. and Lakey. Lena, we actually have uh, just a minute before our, mm -hmm. our break. Okay. And then when we mm -hmm. get back after the break, I do want to talk about how people can get in contact with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. um, how we can okay. uh, come to your classes and and get into more details mm -hmm. about uh, yeah about reaching out to you and uh, finding uh, a way to do some reiki with you. Okay, so, thank you. Do stay tuned. Uh, we're going for a quick break and we'll be back uh, right after with more of Lillian's Vegan World. Aloha, I'm Keisha King, host of Crossroads in Learning on ThinkTech Hawaii. On Crossroads in Learning, our guest and I discuss all aspects of education here in Hawaii and throughout the country. You can join us for stimulating conversations to enrich, enliven, and educate. We are streamed live on ThinkTech bi-weekly at 4 p.m. on Mondays. Thanks so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. Aloha. Hi, I am Yukari Kunisue, host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Think Tech Hawaii's Japanese program, broadcasting every Monday from 2 p.m. I usually invite a guest in Japanese language community who does interesting things, and I'd like to share stories with you guys. Please tune in and listen to Konnichiwa Hawaii.
Aloha and welcome back to Lillian's Vegan World where we talk about the plant-based diet and anything vegan. I'm so excited to have my guest Lena Takahashi from Sendai Japan. She's the co-founder of Healing Land Reiki. Welcome back again Lena, mm -hmm. so lovely to have you on and learn about mm -hmm. this awesome Reiki that is obviously um, fantastic for you and more people should mm -hmm. definitely delve into it. Thank you. Happy to Definitely. <laughs> Lena, tonight Thank actually you. here in, my pleasure, tonight here in Honolulu, I am going to be part of a vegan festival tonight at the Good Vibe Center from 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. There's going to be four or five vegan vendors selling lots of awesome plant-based food, food games, raffles, massage, haircuts, um, lots of fun and games to be had. So anyone who is in the area in the downtown sort of area do stop by I think it's going to be a really great night and I would love to uh, meet some of you and have you taste some awesome plant-based food so that's what I'm doing back mm -hmm. to you Lena and uh, Reiki <laughs> how does someone get in touch with you if they want to learn more about it and attend one of your classes okay uh, you need to go to healinglandreiki.com that's our website so you can get class schedules or you can have uh, contact information below so you can either give me a call or you can um, send me an email in case the dates that's on the classes we have on the website is not convenient for you you can also organize with me private training uh, private training can be in northern Japan, uh, Miyagi Prefecture, Sendai City, or if you would like to have, let's say, one-on-one -on -one training on Mount Krama, which is Kyoto, um, we can also arrange classes in different locations in Japan. Wow, awesome. Yeah. So can just... Mm -hmm. I was going to ask, can you mm -hmm. work with someone who is not living in Japan? Yes. So uh, for the classes, uh, uh, you have to come to Japan uh, or, you know, attend any classes in the world that, you know, we may have. Uh, we don't do classes online, but what you can have is um, Reiki also, uh, you can also have Reiki session being in your home. So it's called distance Reiki session. Uh, so uh, right now we have a subscription plan that you can have to Reiki session for very affordable price. You can also check that on our website on the session class uh, session uh, section. And um, yeah, you can get your appointment with me or it shouldn't be subscription. You can just get one session and see how it feel for you uh, over the distance or of course in person appointment available too. Great. Well, mm -hmm. um, another excuse to go and visit Japan if you're watching this show and you're <laughs> yeah. not there, this is a, a great opportunity mm -hmm. and maybe get a Reiki, a Reiki session in with you at the same time. Mm -hmm. awesome. Yes, definitely. <laughs> a, lot of, um, a lot of information about Reiki online, mm -hmm. Lena, mm -hmm. has come mm -hmm. to these eight, um, eight things that I'm seeing on most websites about what Reiki is believed to be able to do. If you don't mind, I'd like to read some okay. of them. Okay. I, th I, think they, okay. I think it makes it very clear that Reiki is, you know, absolutely something you should consider bringing into your lifestyle. So Reiki mm -hmm. is believed to be able to promote deep relaxation, relieve stress mm -hmm. and anxiety, promote pain relief, ease muscle, sorry, ease muscle tension, give peace yes. of mind and body, increase rate of recovery from injury, energize and balance yeah. the whole body and strengthen the immune system. Yes, yes, yes. It's pretty <laughs> full on and yeah, if that, if it mm -hmm. can, you know, help with all of those things, then definitely something to, to think about um, practicing mm -hmm. with. Yes. Um, you know, to first what's, people can do is go with their beginning level. Uh, we teach uh, Reiki level one and two. You need uh, two full days uh, to attend the class. 
or you can also split to have only Reiki level one or, you know, after that, when you feel guided to go to the level two. But if you have time and you feel guided, go and just have two days of class and, um, you know, it will give you great foundation to use Reiki in your life as a life management tool. And um, after you feel guided to go further, maybe after six months, when you get used to the energy, when you practice on yourself or your family, then if you want to go further, then you can go for three days class to be a Reiki master. Wow, interesting. Yes. When you yes. practice late Reiki, do you and your husband do it or do you go and see your master or your mentor or someone that, mm -hmm. that you work with? How, mm -hmm. how do you do it out of curiosity? Yeah, yeah, I do. I work on myself uh, always, pretty much. It's like use Reiki everywhere. And um, when I really want this like human touch, I would say, like um, I ask my husband to, to, to give me like full Reiki session. But uh, sometimes, like, uh, you know, when it's our family, sometimes we like, no, I think for this, this one, I want to go to my, like, um, like my Reiki master. Um, so I would have a Reiki session with, uh, uh, with my teacher. And what the mistake that I had when I had my own training, I was like, okay, now I don't need to see a Reiki practitioner. I can do it on my own. But once you move further on your like healing journey or uh, whatever you are in your life you sometimes need to have someone who would look at your energy field who would kind of give you opinion from the outside so i pretty much continuously doing the the you know sessions with someone done for me mm -hmm. that's awesome lena i wish I wish that people do contact you, especially the mm -hmm. people that are nearby, because when I first met you, I felt a really strong energy from you, I must say, mm -hmm. and I'm very mm -hmm. aware of the energy around me. Um, I always mm -hmm. have been, and I can tell when I'm either going to be comfortable with the person I'm just meeting or it's just not going to work for me. <laughs> but I remember the first time that I met you, uh, we were having lunch with some girls and I yeah. had, you asked me if I had a pain on the right side of my back and I had yeah. been suffering for months with this, you know, pinched nerve that was running up the right hand side mm -hmm. of my um, back, you know, just right up the spine to my, to my neck. So I thought that was very interesting. Um, yes, very observant <laughs> of you. So I, I, I do hope that people contact you and definitely try it out, something, mm -hmm. something new. Lena, when yeah. you uh -huh. are talking about energy, pure energy and energy that just makes you feel good, do you, for example, after a, a Reiki session, do you think about what you eat? Yes, of course, it's important um, what you eat and uh, like where you go, uh, for example, I, if possible, I advise people just to, to go to the quiet place, like try not to go to the party or, you know, in Japan, we have izakaya, uh, you know, some type of like Japanese style bar and have drinks with their friends and eating everything. Of course, it's to, you still need, you know, some because Reiki, not just working during the sessions, once you leave, it's continue working on you. So, um, of course, you need to, to have some light food if possible, drink more warm water and um, not to feel too heavy, you know, because each person reacts to the session differently. So they may have or they may sometimes just skip the meal and just, you know, go to sleep and rest, whatever they feel their body need. Okay, for them good, good advice yeah that's mm -hmm. excellent advice mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. here's something that might interest people mm -hmm. here so i i love tea i'm actually not a coffee drinker i drink a lot of tea and obviously mm -hmm. i'm vegan mm -hmm. and based diet but uh after i meditate or i i do meditate and i do power mm -hmm. yoga and i i am that your what you said resonates with me because i also like to be quiet and you know, put something nice into my body, a nice hot cup of tea or something 
something like that. Mm -hmm. Lena, I'm actually the only chef here on not only in Honolulu or Oahu, but in the whole of Hawaii that does seven course, full seven course vegan wow. mm -hmm. you know, menus. So this is my latest one that I'm doing once a month. Um, I'm going to show you mm -hmm. a picture here of my high tea. This is a seven course high tea. This is only the first three courses. Believe it oh my on. God, this is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's the three courses, and then there's four more courses after that. Here are some, uh, yeah, just some little things. There's a full tea selection. The tea is excellent. Mm -hmm. There's about 30 different teas that I provide, and everybody chooses their own tea throughout the three-hour dining experience. Everything is homemade, the pastries, the bread, um, the cheese, everything. And wow. here's another closer look. I'll show you another photo. Um, or maybe that was the last one. So the other, the other photo, I think, was... Yeah, okay, back to that one. Thank you, Melissa. So that's um, my seven courses I do once a month. And uh, all of my information is on my website, lillianvegan.com. Uh, my social media, YouTube, Lillian Vegan and Facebook, all Lillian Vegan. You can find out more information and see what I'm getting up to on the island. So, Lena, we are getting close to closing time. As we, uh, before okay. we say goodbye to the viewers, I would love for you to uh, give a final message before we, we close mm -hmm. the show. Okay, thank you for having me here. And uh, if you're interested in learning Reiki, we have upcoming uh, group class on Mount Krama, which will be in the end of April. So, um, and also when you stay on Mount Krama, the Dokan, the Japanese Inn, there will be able to provide uh, food uh, for according to your needs. It can be vegan and um, whatever, uh, gluten-free, whatever you need can be provided. And Lillian, you know, it's difficult in Japan to be providing uh, that kind of services, but um, I'm also working on, you know, having that to be arranged for our students. Awesome. That's great. Well, thank you, Lena, mm -hmm. for joining us and pleasure talking to you. Good luck with everything. And I hope that people mm -hmm. do contact you. Thank you, everyone, for watching another episode of Lillian's mm -hmm. Vegan World. See you in two weeks' time for more vegan fun. Aloha. Mm -hmm.